What's up, New Beginnings Church? Happy Thursday morning to you, and welcome to our devotional series, our walk through the book of Colossians. It's been so good. I, I think, I don't know, this chapter, this section of Colossians chapter 3 is so good. Again, what does it look like to be a Christ follower? Go read verses kind of 1 through, I don't know, what it would be, 17. Oh my gosh, this is so good on what it means to walk with Christ, to be a Christ follower. Um, again, setting our heart with our affection, setting our mind, and then say, hey, look, I recognize that there is some sinfulness in me and that that sinfulness has to be put to death. But let's keep reading because I got good news for you. It just gets better and better and better. By the time you get to verse number 10, he after he says put to death all that sinful stuff, he gives you a new thing to do and to focus and to fixate on. Because like I said yesterday, like you don't want to become so sin-focused that that is actually what you think about all the time. Um, funny enough, you can say, you know, don't do that sin, don't do that sin, don't do that sin, don't do that sin. But really, you're still focusing on the sin. You're just focusing on not doing it. Yes, we want to put those things to death, but we want to do that and then immediately set our heart and set our minds on Christ Jesus. And he really adds to that here by saying this, and have put on the new self which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator. And so realize this is really a two-part thing here. I think that if you only try to put things to death, that you can end up becoming a very rigid, very religious, judgmental person, very guilt-laced person. Because remember, when you're, when you're only focused on the sin, the sin, the sin, and if everything is get rid of the sin, then when you're doing it, you feel good about yourself. And when you're not doing it, you, you get beat up. I want you to focus on putting that thing to death and then immediately setting your heart and setting your mind on Christ. But here's this new metaphor, having put on the new self. Um, couple key thoughts here. Um, number one is this. The, the terms put to death and the terms put on the new self are both present progressive terms. Now, this is a really, really big idea, and here's why. A lot of times you can you can focus on putting to death a sin and you think you got it and then two weeks later, two months, two years later it comes back and you're like, I thought I put that thing to, to death, right? And the fact is, is that these are pe present progressive terms, meaning it is more read like this, always be putting to death the sinful nature, always be putting on this new self that is in Christ Jesus now. And so just remember this. I remember I had a guy come to me and said, man, I've been battling lust. I've been battling lust. Am I ever going to get over this battle? I'm like, no, probably not. I mean, maybe, but probably not. You should be prepared that like uh, there's a battle against lust. And if I'm focused on Christ and putting it to death, I'm going to win a lot. I mean, I really am. And I could win for really long stretches of time, but it, it could be that that thing comes back. And so the battle is never completely over until I am in glory with Christ Jesus. That's, that's my only guess. So present progressive. Um, but this idea of putting on, let's, let's move forward to that, put on. So the first thought is that this stuff is present progressive. You do it all the time. But the thought I want to give you on put on is this, is putting anything on you should be intentional. So I almost feel like your earthly nature, that's what you're going to do if you just live life on default, just react and respond in the moment and do whatever feels good to you at the moment. Like that's, this is new. He goes from something that was your earthly nature to know, put on something new that maybe you didn't formally have. Meaning there isn't, like this morning when I woke up, I can show you my shorts. I got some tennis shoes on. I got a t-shirt on. And so when I put this outfit on, I didn't roll out of bed and be like, oh my gosh, where did these clothes come from? <laughs> right? No, no. I woke up and then I thought about what matched and I thought about what I wanted to wear. I thought about the weather outside. I thought about what meetings I might have. And I thought, this is the this is what I want to put on for me today. And like any good man, I went to my wife and I said, does this, does this actually look good, what I've put on? And she said, yes. And so, but my point is, is that putting on Christ is not accidental. It might not even naturally happen, but putting on Christ is actually intentional. This goes back to our daily uh, daily disciplines of getting up and saying, let me start my day with some prayer, some worship, devotional, some scripture. And in doing so, I want to put on Christ because that is an active and intentional thing. You don't get dressed on accident. You get dressed because you intentionally put something on. And so let us be about that Christ life today. Let's make sure that we're putting to death whatever is sinful and, and really robbing us of our blessing. Let's make sure that we put on that new self. Let's be active and intentional about putting on Christ today. Can I get an amen? Church, I love you guys so much. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.